yes yeah uh, we start uh, the another pose okay so already uh, we finished this uh, first uh, extreme pose this is in contact relaxed mode and this is uh, anticipation for the jump anticipation and you can observe here our hair also okay and then you can see this as stretch pose the whole body is stretching and lifting his toes foot and observe the uh, her ponytail also okay this is stretch pose next uh, we start with the uh, another pose it's very uh, important so here you can on this procedure okay <coughs> suppose if you say here this is <coughs> this pose we are planning mid air the first one is neutral neutral means just like a uh, first contact uh, the first uh, pose of the jump this is anticipation and this is uh, the stretch pose actually uh, stretching okay still it is in contact and this is the mid air say it is a mid air pose okay mid air pose this we uh, plan now okay <coughs> for that what you do this is 1 2 3 fourth pose so see here to here you are jumping so for that this procedure sheet you can on this procedure sheet and okay and now move this yes suppose from here to here you are going into air okay so like a spring a stretched spring when you stretch the spring and release and it can be squashy so your body is squashing and you are pushing your whole body into air because of the stretchness it is squashing and pushing your body and moving up into air okay so from here to here this is the uh, the pose situation suppose you say this ah yes this is so here we have to uh, position that a uh, body now you can lock this locked and this is the fourth pose <coughs> this is uh, the mid air yes for that what you do you can insert keyframe here from there to here with shift you can select this and right click and insert keyframe so your keyframes are extended here but so I'm using this and I'm placing here okay instead of this because the lot of differences are there from here to here so I'm taking this pose and a uh, few adjustments only I do here so very easily can uh, place this pose right right so for that what I'll do so here to here you can uh, shift and you can remove frames uh, removed and this also here to here you remove this okay so I'm placing I'm taking these poses from here to here okay so copy these frames and now you can uh, paste here at the fourth paste frames pasted 
but this frame should come here <coughs> okay for that what you do unlock these all unlock these all okay and you can select them all you can uh, move this here okay you can move this and of course it can be bit smaller because it is going to up In size wise show something bit smaller okay and we have to adjust them according to her actual uh, position yes okay <coughs> here i lock everything and do all adjustments one by one that is very uh, easy for me okay yes here accordingly we do that yes <coughs> first of how we set the body <coughs> sorry <coughs> set the body mm, for that on say off all so this you can unlock right <coughs> and you can uh, see this yes yes it is there in almost uh, same procedure and here uh, head also you can move up and here uh, ponytail also close yes this is uh, the body of the uh, model okay then here if you see the head is bit congesting here so uh, this head and this ponytail so is that uh, this ponytail so this uh, body also lock okay and you can move down head right perfect okay so head is uh, i think it is bit smaller so uh, what we do we can make it bit bigger yes now control less then what you do on the uh, hand suppose our hand it must be in this shape <coughs> okay so on our hand things your our hand can be <coughs> suppose in reverse so not like that 
uh, might be s not here actually it is there Here, uh, what we'll do? So this ponytail and all you can lock the pelvis lock and ponytail also lock. Yes, now you can turn this. No, head should not uh, move. Yes, now you can turn this. Okay. On this, and if you observe here, it is almost uh, covering a uh, head, uh, but not fully covered. it is there yes it is there suppose from here to here it is there then uh, open the L hand our hand you can lock this <coughs> yes turn this So this is that hand okay, and lock this.
control S <coughs> and you can uh, on the R leg R leg see the position yes it is almost <coughs> very close to your knee uh, joint is going up and this is your uh, foot So it is there, and you can move up. This is there, but it is bit realistic character, not very cartoonic. So you cannot uh, move that <coughs> more than. Yes, this is okay. <coughs> now you log this, log this, and of the visibility come here and check here. But it is uh, very cartoonic, so your leg is something like very uh, folded, very cartoonically, but here. Uh, this is a bit uh, realistic character you cannot fold that much but at the same time you should show this yes <coughs> now what we do okay <coughs> Extend back more, you can move this. Okay, <coughs> lock this and open this. This can extend on that. This can extend on that. So, here what we do, we draw this. Suppose this is and here it is here we draw something like this is <coughs> check the a shoe yeah shoe is like shoe uh, can be like <coughs> something differently this sole part must be visible so for that what we do can take here <coughs> and you draw again freshly suppose the next frame here so you can draw here So these are the uh, changes we are doing. Yes. 
sole bottom of the um, shoe Sometimes we cannot copy and paste every time, so you have to uh, draw because it is a frame by frame animation. I told you that. <coughs> yeah. So this is. this you can close right yes control s <coughs> but this we fill colors so fill colors okay, and here must be shader than this one okay yes so this you can copy no cut and you can paste this control shift we no it is not paste manually paste manually here and it should be <coughs> overlay on that so this is overlay on that <coughs> so this can be here and use this Q the transform point and you can get down <coughs> okay, so this extended frame we can remove and you can uh, match this size the show size with this right here the uh, shoe bottom part can visible then only we will understand this it is in mid of air because the, the camera is going above eye level the bottom of the shoe can visible yes 
so control s and you log this and come to <coughs> another row leg so that is uh, l leg portions yeah. so this we can move this so suppose this is I think leg position is okay. So leg position is okay here. we can move come out here this is But uh, the shoe, shoe we can move the design, otherwise, uh, this position of the shoe can be look like. Control B, then give the shape bit bender.
yes control s <coughs> okay so this slide one is uh, showing down and sh one is showing up right <coughs> perfect now check the uh, ponytail the ponytail area this you can lock and open only <coughs> ponytail this is the ponytail area okay this you can first uh, of the visibility of the uh, hands yes now uh, remove this color yes and check this delete this <coughs> and you can on the on and skin so that we will understand these two ok yes from here to the here the ponytail so here look like uh, the design look like something something like this is ok so this here we have to adjust them move up move up This is and check with the other tiles length that is very important. Okay. Then you can remove this and here of the visibility and you can move these two so with the body your tail also ponytail also moving up from here to here so this is anticipation after anticipation this is stretch pose after stretch pose your tail are moving up yes and here what you do can take this color and you can fill yes yes this is and now <coughs> switch on everything now you can uh, of the visibility of the procedure sheet then you will check so suppose this is yes see this is very nice fantastic she is getting into this side okay perfect 
so this is the first pose this is contact and standing and ready for uh, jump and in this pose she is taking anticipation ok so this is the main extreme poses ok anticipation pose then after this this is the stretch pose but still here uh, she is touching ground ok after anticipation she is stretching and then she is into air mid of the air so this is called what the mid air pose <coughs> this is mid air pose and here uh, the right hands there is no much changes in right hands so I want to change this right hand okay so for that uh, right and this and this can move bit down uh, rotate this this is something like <coughs> yes I want to add changes otherwise this pose this two poses should not be the same yes yes now this is good perfect ok so this ponytail uh, here to here yes this ponytail I want to change bit something like after this yes this much yes 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 this is nice yes control s yes. now ah yes this is nice ok so uh, we made four poses these are the main uh, extreme poses and today what we did this is called uh, mid air pose ok you prepare uh, the same pose for your character and next day the tomorrow I will explain the another pose because see, in the same day at a time we cannot do this if you sit and uh, do the same work from morning to evening so maybe it can be finished in the same day but in one hour generally we cannot do this more than this and in learning you must have to understand the procedure first okay for understanding that yourself also you can do this continuously by your own ok so prepare this pose same pose this is the mid air pose and then I will explain the another pose tomorrow ok so thank you